Hello, buddy, and welcome to another Minecraft Bedrock tutorial. Yay! Today we have an awesome build, the biggest door I have ever built. So you can keep your 4x4s, move aside 5x5s, who even needs a 6x6, and don't even talk about 7x7. Today we are making an 8x8 piston door. Oh yes. Now I actually made this 8x8 because of last week's video. <laughs> when I was making the 4x4 sliding door, I realised that I could actually change just a little bit of the redstone and make an 8x8. So, um... I did. <laughs> now, actually, when I say I changed a little bit of the redstone, I thought I could change a little bit of the redstone. <laughs> but actually, I had to change quite a lot. So it was actually um, a whole redesign. Was it worth it? Yeah, of course it was. <laughs> so here is our 8x8 piston door. Now, just take a step back. Isn't it breathtaking? <laughs> <gasps> Can't breathe. Now, of course, this build is super quick. As you can see here, when I flick this lever, you see the door closes very quickly. And then flick this lever again. And of course, it opens very nice and quickly too. And as you can tell, this door is fully in sync. Yay! <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> now, I had an absolute nightmare trying to get this fully in sync. Honestly, I had to redesign it about three, four, five, six times, maybe. Now, as custom dictates, we have to have a look at the redstone. And as you can tell, now, shockingly, you can actually make this build slightly smaller. The reason that I didn't make it smaller is because really, to make this build smaller, you'd have to make it with a vertical design. So it closes by uh, going down and up. But the reason I didn't is just because it looks so much better horizontally. <laughs> what do you think? This looks so good. <laughs> okay, so now you've seen the design and how it works. Let's get on with this tutorial. It's need 36 sticky pistons, 27 observers, eight resident repeaters, four resident torches, 28 resident dust. So for this amazing build, you're going to need 30 regular pistons, 118 sticky pistons, 90 observers, 22 repeaters, 10 resident torches, 82 resident dust, 4 resident blocks, 16 comparisons, 16 furnaces, 16 rubbish blocks, 32 slime blocks, 43 hind blocks, 1 lever, 16 slime, 50 immovable blocks, 26 glass blocks, 119 blocks for resident to go on, 64 blocks for your door itself, and then how many blocks you need for attack duration? Wow. <laughs> okay, to start this build, you need to have a 10 by 10 square, and these blocks here will be your door surround. So these blocks here are the same as these blocks. Here. Okay, so our door is one block behind that. After you have that all in place, what you need to do is come to the back and come to either side and place eight blocks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we need this to be four wide. So that's one wide, so two wide, three wide, and four wide. Okay, now we need alternating lines of slime and honey going down this block like this. So slime at the top, whoops, I guess, <laughs> then four honey, then four slime, then you guessed it, four honey, four slime, all the way down. Okay, now come to this slime block here and come out five blocks towards the left. One, two, three, four, five. Remove the first four, and then we need sticky pistons going directly toward this slime block, this honey, this slime, this honey, and all the way down, like this. So basically all we have to do is play Beethoven's fifth. <laughs> If you don't get that joke, go and watch last week's video. <laughs> yeah, so after that, what you need to do is place a block here, then miss out a piston and another block, then miss out another piston, but don't place a normal block here, no. Place a piece of obsidian here, then miss out a honey and another piece of obsidian here. And then the same on this line here. So block, block, obsidian, obsidian. Miss out a line and then to do the same. Block, block, obsidian, obsidian. And then lastly, miss out a line and block, block, obsidian, obsidian. And we want dust on all of these blocks we just, which we just placed. Okay, like that. Now I'll place a temporary block here and one up. And basically you want blocks like this on all these four. Like that. And then on these four as well. And on the blocks you just placed, grab our comparators and place them like this. Brilliant. Now on the blocks which have the comparators on them, on the back side, place a furnace on every single one. And in each and every furnace, we need to place a block you don't mind throwing away. Hence I'm using dirt. Brilliant. Okay, so after you've done that, come around the back once more. 
And firstly, you place glass like this. One, two, three. Now, it doesn't have to be glass, but just basically a block which is different from any other block which you're using in your build, but I'm just using glass. <laughs> so one, two, three. If you're wondering how I'm pressing these furnaces without opening them, basically just hold crouch like that. All right. Now, underneath this furnace only, we want to place another glass like that. Then two blocks down. One, two. Two, like that. Remove this block and have a regular piston going up toward this glass, like so. Remove this block. Then two blocks down from this one. Remove this block and a piston. And we need a piston going into every single uh, furnace. Then come up to the top and place a block next to this dust on top of these comparators. And we need another piston going directly downward like this. Just make sure there's a one block space between our piston and our furnaces. Okay, and then we can just remove this block here. Only on this one here though, not the rest. Keep those. After that, come around to the front. And firstly, we want to grab a slab and place it here. One out. Remove that one and another one. And we want dust on these two. Then we want to grab a regular piston and place it like this facing toward the back. On this regular piston, we need a torch here. We should extend this piston, moving our furnaces in line with the comparators, which we should now have our extension on these pistons. Brilliant. Then a slab here with dust, a regular block here toward the back. And on this regular block, we need a repeater on two tick delay. So place it down and press it once more and a block here. And now we should have a second extension, which we do. Then a block here, a repeater on three ticks delay. So place it down and press it twice, once, twice. Block here and one up, one toward the back. Remove this block and a repeater here on one tick. A block here and we should have our third extension. <laughs> you can see where this is going. Then a temporary block here and a movable block here. I can't say that word, can I? Immovable, that's better. <laughs> Remove this block and dust here. Temporary block here, one up, one toward the back. Remove this block. And lastly, have a repeater here on two tick delay. So place it down, press it one time. Sorry to interrupt myself for a second here. I just realized my mistake. All you have to do is place this one on three ticks. Like that one, okay? Three ticks, not two ticks. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. And a block here, which means we should have now a full extension. Brilliant. Now the last thing, just grab some observers. Now what I want you to do is firstly, place the observer going directly toward this slab, like this. You can see the dot is going toward the slab and the face is facing out into all the distance. What is it staring at? We will never know. <laughs> then you want to have a line of observers going like this, all the way along. Okay, so after that, what we need to do is come around the back here and first you place a block in front of that observer there. Okay, so covering the dot. Then I want you to grab a repeater and place it coming away from this block toward this one on three tick delay. So press it down and press it twice. Once, twice. And then another one here, again going toward the left on three tick delay. And finally one here, again toward the left on three tick delay. Then you want to grab a piston and place it here facing upward. And then another one here. If you've placed it, these observers right, that piston should have pulsed. As you can see, it pulses when I place and remove that piston. Brilliant. <laughs> now grab an observer and place it on top of that piston, then a block, another observer, and a block, observer, block, observer, block. Then a block on top of this piston, then grab a regular piston and place it facing downward here and remove this block. And we can repeat that. Now on this side, so observer, block, Observer, block, observer, block, observer, block, block here, and piston facing downward. Brilliant. Now we want to place blocks like this. One, two, three, four. And the same on this side. One, two, three, four. And dust on all eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then a temporary block here and one down. Sorry. One down, one to the side. That is definitely not down. <laughs> Remove this block. And the same here, same here, and the same here. And again, dust on all of them. Then grab an observer and place it next to this piston arm like this. 
So the dot should be going toward the ground. A block here. And then going toward the left, we want a repeater on two tick delay here. Then place a block here. Another repeater on two tick delay. Then grab an observer, place it like this. And dust. Now on this side, we don't want a repeater. We want a torch here. And an observer. And a block. And then we want a torch here and an observer, and then dust. But we won't, don't want this dust connecting, so we need to place blocks like this. One, two, three. Okay, so now you have that in place. Come to these spaces here, and what I want you to do is grab a sticky piston, and firstly, place one here, facing toward these piston arms. And you want a line of sticky pistons eight high. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we want observers, on all their faces. One, two, three, four, five, whoops, <laughs> six, seven, eight. You can see why this is an expensive build. <laughs> and then the same on this line. So stick a piston here in line with this piston arm and eight high. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then observers go all the way like this. Again, the dots facing toward the pistons. And then finally on along this line as well. Okay, like that. Okay, so now I'll come around to the back once more. And what I want you to do is grab an observer and crouch and place it off that repeater here. So the face should be facing directly toward that repeater there. Smack in the middle. <laughs> then grab another observer and place it facing this way toward the middle of our door. Then a block here and dust. Then grab one more observer, place it off this repeater. Then a repeater going again toward the middle of the door, so toward the right. One coming down off that observer, and then one to the left. Like that. So the very final step we have to do for this section is firstly place a block next to this piston, and then a regular piston facing upward like this. Remove this block, and a torch here. And we should have a part extension, so everything should move apart from this piston here. Then place a block here, and two out. Move these first two and have a piston facing this way. Remove this block, a torch on top of this piston, and then a sticky piston on top of that torch, which should extend. Then grab an observer, place it here, a block, and then we want a slab here and here, a temporary one here and one to the left, a temporary one here and to the left, and dust on all these blocks and slabs. One, two, three, four, five. So it should go up like a ladder. If you can't place the uh, slabs in, you can use glass if you prefer. Then grab another sticky piston, place it off the side of that dust. A block of redstone here. On this block, we want a repeater on one tick delay going toward the middle of our door. So when that redstone block moves to here, that redstone repeater is going to pick up the power. Block here. A slab here, not a full block, a slab. And then a repeater on four tick delay going into a block. And then grab a... Uh, Decoration block, <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. A decoration block and have dust like this. And surprisingly, that's this section completely done. So if we were to grab a redstone block and place it here, we should have that full extension, which we do. And then when I remove this block, we should have our full retraction. Let's place this one on three ticks. Like that one, okay? Three ticks, not two ticks. And now we'll have our full retraction. Brilliant. Okay, so now we're on to the small matter of literally just repeating that, <laughs> mirroring it all over here. <laughs> so basically everything you did here just mirrored onto this side. The only thing you change is the order of slime, honey, slime, honey. So where we have slime on the top and honey on the bottom, on this side we have slime on the bottom and honey on the top. Because if you have slime on this side and slime on this side and they touch in the middle, our door won't open because they'll get stuck to each other. So you need honey, slime, honey, slime instead of slime, honey, slime, honey. Now, if you're quite capable of doing that on your own, carry on. I'll put a timestamp on the screen now if you want to skip ahead. But for those who want a full tutorial on this bit, okay, you ready? <laughs> so firstly, blocks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we want this four wide. So that's one, two, three, four. And then build up these blocks all the way up like this. Now, where we have slime on the top, this time we want honey, and then, whoops, then slime, and then you guessed it, honey, and go on like this. 
Okay, now come to the back of this block and come out five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Remove the first four. And then play Beethoven's fifth <laughs> directly into the slime and honey blocks. Right, after you've done that, place a block here. Miss out a piston and another one. Miss out a piston and an obsidian. Miss out a slime block and an obsidian. And we want to repeat that all along, along these lines here. So here, here, and here. So block, block, block. Obsidian, obsidian, obsidian. Obsidian, obsidian, obsidian. And dust on all of these blocks. Now we want to grab another block. Place it here and one up. And the same on these four. And then the same for these four up here. On every single one of these blocks we just placed, we need a comparator going toward their respective blocks. And then furnaces like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we need any old block you don't mind throwing away in every single furnace. Brilliant. Okay, so after you've done that, come around the back once more and we need to place our glass like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now on our furthest furnace away from the door on the bottom, we need to place another glass block. Then two regular blocks down. Remove the first one and have a piston going toward that glass. Remove this block. Temporary block here. Piston. Temporary block. Piston. And temporary block and piston. Then come up to the top and place blocks next to our dust like this. One, two, three, four. And then we want four regular pistons on the side of our blocks going toward our furnaces, but make sure there is a one block gap between our furnace and our piston. And then we can remove this block here, but keep the rest the same. Come down to the bottom, place a temporary block here, slab here, remove this block and another one, dust on both. Then grab a regular piston, face it toward the back with a torch on it, which should turn on, and we should have our first uh, first extension, which we do. Then a slab here and dust. Block here with a repeater on two tick delay going toward the back. And a block here. And now we should have our second extension. Block here and a repeater on three tick delay going into a block. Block toward the back and a repeater on one tick going into a block here. And we should have our third extension. And then finally, block here. A movable block, remove this one, dust, block here, one up, one here, and a repeater on three tick delay going into a block underneath this piston here, which means we have our, our fourth extension and full extension. <laughs> now come down to this left piston here, and we need to place an observer going directly toward this slab here, like this. So the dot should be going toward the slab, and the face should be going out toward the distance. And then we want slabs like this. One, two, three, four, five. Now, keeping at the back for a second, now we need to work on our blue section. So firstly, you place a block here in front of that uh, observer there. And now we need three repeaters all going toward the right on these observers here. So one here on three tick delay. Another one again on three tick delay. And one here on three tick delay like that. Then grab a regular piston and place one here facing upward. And another one here. If we place an observer's right, that one should pulse, which it has. Then on top of this piston, we need an observer. Block, observer, block, observer, block, observer, block. Block on top of that piston. And then have a regular piston facing downward here. And then repeat that on this side. So, observer, block, observer. <laughs> Gets very repetitive, doesn't it? Block, observer, block, observer, block. Block here and a repeater facing downward. Sorry, repeater. Oh, my brain. Piston facing downward and we can remove this block here. Right. <laughs> then we need blocks like this. One, two, three, four. And on this side, one, two, three, four. Temporary block here and one out. And on all of these four. And then dust on 12 of these blocks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then we want to grab an observer and place it on the side of that piston arm facing downward so the dot should be going toward the ground and a block here. And then a repeater on two tick delay going away from the inside of our door. So here on two tick delay. Then a block here 
and another repeater on two tick delay with an observer facing upward and dust. Then we want a torch on this side, an observer facing downward, and a block. A torch here, an observer facing upward, and dust. And then we want to cover this with blocks like this. One, two, three. Then come to these spaces here, and we need to place our sticky pistons in. So, come down. Ooh, can I get in this space? <laughs> come down to here. Place a sticky piston here. And we want this eight high. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And an observer on every single one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we want to repeat. And then we want to repeat that two more times. So, down here. Sticky piston here in line with this piston. Again, eight high. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight observers. And then one more. Pick a piston in line with that piston. Eight high. And then place our observers. Brilliant. And the last bit for this blue section, we need to grab an observer. Come to this repeater here. Crouch. Make sure you crouch. And place it like this. So the face should be facing toward that repeater. Place an observer going toward the middle of our door and block with dust on it. No, with dust, <laughs> like that. Then grab another observer and place it on the side of this one. The dot should be going toward the back again. An observer toward the middle of our door. You see the arrow is going toward the middle. An observer down, so the dot going toward the floor. And then finally, an observer going toward this piston. Okay, so now for our final bit on this section. Firstly, you place a block here. And then a regular piston facing upward. Remove this block and a torch here. And we should have a kind of full retraction apart from this block here. Or oh, these sticky pistons here. Then a block here. Another piston facing this way. Remove this block and a torch. Sticky piston facing upward, which should extend. And an observer facing toward the sky. Block here. A slab here and a slab here. A temporary slab here and one to the right, remove this one, and a temporary one here and to the right, and remove this one, and that's like this, one, two, three, four, five. If you struggle to place in the slabs, just use glass. Then grab a sticky piston, place it like this, with a block of redstone. Repeat it here on one tick, going into a block. A slab here, not a full block, and a repeater here on fourth tick delay. Going into a block, and then grab a decoration block, place it here, and dust. Then all we have to do is power these two pistons with a redstone block. We should have a full extension. Then remove it. And there we are, we have our full retraction. Okay, now comes the exciting part of wiring them both up together. Yay! <laughs> okay, so firstly you place two blocks like this. One, two. It doesn't matter if it's off this block or this block. And then one down. Remove these two. And have a lever on this block. So this is our input block. A sticky piston facing toward the right and a sticky piston facing toward the left. Hold on. It's only facing toward the left if we're looking toward the front. That's better. <laughs> then honey on our sticky pistons, or slime, doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, five, six, up to here. And then a redstone block here. And then the same on this side. So honey all along until here, and a block of redstone. And now with the moment of truth, all we do is flick the lever here, and as you can see, we have our full extension, and then flick the lever again, and we have our full retraction, fully in sync, working every single time. Brilliant. <laughs> and then the last thing we have to do is basically cover up all of our stone. Just make sure everything which is a slime or honey block touches is an immovable block, okay? So obsidian down like this. Um, on the showcase build I showed over here, I used glazed terracotta, um, which makes it look a lot better, but you can use obsidian, whatever you pretty much fancy. <laughs> But just for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to use obsidian. So one, two, uh, all along like this. All obsidian up here. And this side, funny enough, actually, you do not need to use obsidian here. You can actually use a regular block, but that block will be moved with the door, which is okay, but it means you can actually see into the redstone. So it's completely up to you. But personally, I would use obsidian or any movable block. And then up here, like that. And then the rest, fill in with your decoration blocks. Go crazy. <laughs>
the full extension. And then the full attraction. Beautiful. And this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video or like this design, please give us a like. And if you really loved it, make sure you subscribe with that wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. And I'll see you later. Bye.